Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry opens up about pressures of fatherhood in heartfelt letter. The Duke of Sussex has spoken about becoming a father to baby Archie in a heartfelt foreword for one of his patronages. In his role as president, Prince Harry has written a letter for African Park's annual report, an organization focused on conservation. Harry spoke about the importance of protecting wildlife for future generations. Since becoming a father, I feel the pressure is even greater to ensure we can give our children the future they deserve, a future that hasn't been taken from them, and a future full of possibility and opportunity. I want us all to be able to tell our children that yes, we saw this coming, and with the determination and help from an extraordinary group of committed individuals, we did what was needed to restore these essential ecosystems. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently living in Los Angeles with baby Archie after stepping back from royal duties in March 2020. Harry has been president of African Parks since 2017 and has visited Africa several times, including his and Meghan's royal tour of South Africa in September 2019. At the start of his letter, the Duke wrote, I have always been grateful for what wild places provide. Since my first trip to Africa as a young boy, I knew I would keep returning to this continent if I could for its wildlife, for its people, and for its vast expanse. That is why I am so fortunate to have found African parks and to have been asked to join them in 2017 as their president. I am hugely grateful for their clarity of purpose and am more motivated than ever to do all I can to advance the mission of protecting wild places, for wildlife, for people, and for generations to come. Harry also touched upon the current coronavirus crisis, saying, We are currently living through an extinction crisis, and now a global pandemic that has shaken us to our core and brought the world to a standstill. On the extinction crisis, the science is clear. We have perhaps a decade to course correct before we lock in our fate. On this pandemic, while much is still unknown, some evidence suggests that the virus origins may be linked to our exploitation of nature. The gravity of these challenges is coming to light, but we must not be paralyzed by them. Another analysis. How quarantine has changed Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's relationship. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry moved from Vancouver Island to Los Angeles just as the coronavirus lockdown really went into effect. Three months in, we got intel from a source about how the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's relationship has changed post-move while they social distanced in their home with their son Archie. A source said it hasn't been easy for them to be socially isolated a feeling anyone quarantining can understand. It's a bit ironic, because one of the things that was making Meghan unhappy about living in the UK was that she felt isolated and she missed her friends, the source said. But now she's back in the US, which is what she wanted, but is isolated and can't see her friends. The Duchess was able to see her mom Doria Ragland, who also lives in Los Angeles, on Mother's Day with Prince Harry and Archie. What large social gatherings are still discouraged, and California is currently recommending that people stay connected with friends and loved ones through phone and video calls. Visiting family and friends outside your household still presents a risk of spreading coronavirus, the state wrote on its COVID-19 site. Keeping distance from others is especially important for people that are at higher risk of getting very sick, including older people and people of any age who have underlying medical conditions. But even though the Duke and Duchess, like everyone else, can't see friends the way they used to, their own relationship is at its best. Their relationship is stronger than ever, adding that it's really been a blessing for them to not have so many distractions and commitments. That source admitted, that for one of Meghan and Harry's happiest times was when they first went to Canada during their break from royal duties 
and were able to spend time with friends, go hiking, and play with Archie outside without anyone knowing they were there. The Duke and Duchess now remain focused on the launch of their non-profit, Goel later this year, in addition to taking care of their son. Friends of the couple told LMT Channel last month that quarantine generally has been a happy and love filled time for them and Archie. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's son, Archie's first words, are adorable. The world might be in turmoil, but Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry's young son, Archie Harrison is living his very best life. The one-year-old has been spending his time with his parents in their temporary home in Beverly Hills, California. Though Los Angeles is slowly beginning to reopen, the adorable tot has most certainly enjoyed this quality time he's had with his family. Archie reportedly celebrated his first birthday with the strawberries and cream smash cake and some Zoom calls. Also, though they practiced social distancing, he was able to see his grandmother, Doria Ragland, on Mother's Day. Though the Sussexes shared a glimpse of Archie with the public for his birthday, it looks like he's also had several milestones since the family's relocation to America. In addition to standing on his own, Archie has said his first words, and they are beyond cute. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been embracing family time. Though the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic has certainly had its challenges, the Duke and the Duchess have been determined to embrace the positives. Coming off of two years of constant work and hectic schedules in the royal family, They've enjoyed this downtime immensely. Prince Harry revealed during a talk with his well-child charity. There's a hell of a lot of positives that are happening at the same time, and being able to have family time so much family time that you almost think, do I feel guilty for having so much family time? You've got to celebrate those moments where you are just on the floor rolling around in hysterics. Inevitably, half an hour later, Maybe a day later, there's going to be something that you have to deal with, and there's no way you can run away from it. For his part, Archie gets cuter by the second. A friend of the Duchess said, Archie has now learned how to pull himself up while in the crib, which Meghan said is cute, but can be a bit nerve-wracking. She also said Archie's new thing is blowing kisses, which is just absolutely adorable. Archie has already said his first words despite everything that is happening around him. Archie is thriving. He's reportedly even said his first words. An insider told you as weekly. He's saying a few words, like, Dada, Mama, Book, and Dog. He loves playing hide, and seek and using building blocks. The little one is also obsessed with the family's dogs, the Sussex's Beagle Guy, and a black lab they adopted in 2018. Maysod said, Archie is best friends with his dogs, they make him laugh and are gentle with him. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.